What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I wanted to share a pretty cool hidden feature which is currently available on the One UI 6.1.1 and it is coming your way on your Galaxy phones which are eligible to get the latest One UI 6.1 major upgrade based on One UI 6.1.1. That upgrade is going to be a major one because there are a lot of AI features which are coming your way. We have been discussing about uh, all those features on the channel. And here is one cool hidden AI feature which I want to discuss in this video. Before we go ahead, let me tell you that more than 80% of you guys who watch my contents on the channel have not subscribed yet uh, and you still want to watch my contents you get to learn a lot about Galaxy phones, Android phones and Galaxy watches etc. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and still interested in watching my contents I would request you guys to go ahead and subscribe that is not going to cost you anything but you will get benefited in a lot of ways you get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Android phones and Galaxy watches and many other tech related contents and if you subscribe that is going to motivate me to come up with with loads of contents for you guys so go ahead subscribe and don't forget to give this video a like if you find this video useful and yeah every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper you can check them out in the description and download them the credit for these wallpapers goes to the uh, wallpaper designers I don't design them I download them from the third-party applications and I share it with you guys so uh, kudos to those guys who create these beautiful looking wallpapers let's go ahead now on the Galaxy phones, when we go into the gallery and open a particular image, let me just pick an image here. Okay, let me just select this. Now when we swipe this up, you see we get some AI suggestions right here. We get background blur option, remaster option. Now these options may not be same for all the images. Depending on the image, we get these suggestions here. Now let me pick some other image here. Let's say I would just pick a screenshot. Now here the AI suggestion is just to remaster this image. Let me pick this image here. You see again there is only remaster option for this image. This is what we currently have. Now on the upcoming One UI 6.1 major upgrade based on One UI 6.1.1 we are going to get an additional feature called live effect. Let me show you how exactly that works. Let me keep this phone aside. This is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 running on One UI 6.1.1. Let me open the gallery application here. Now I will just open a particular image. Let's open this one here. I'll swipe up. You see we have got three different options here. Live effect, background blur, remaster. Now let me tap on a live effect right here. This is the uh, one which we are talking about. You see it's kind of a swivel effect it has got uh, and uh, we can directly share it from here or save the copy. Let me just save this copy and uh, show you how it looks and let's see in which format it has been saved. You see just about two seconds video clip. It's not looking that great on this particular file. Let's try on some other image as well. Uh, so it's just about two seconds video clip that we have got. Now let's try on this image here. Let me swipe up. On this we have got live effect, background blur, remove lens flare and remaster. Now let me tap on live effect. Adding live effect. It takes a few seconds to add the live effect for uh, some of the images. You can see it has cropped this image and it actually looks pretty cool. Now this is actually pretty cool. Instead of just sending a still image, we can actually apply live effect and send it. It looks unique and different. Now let me just tap on save. Let's see uh, what is the kind of size we are going to get for this particular file. Okay, now let's go back here. Let me tap on this. You see it's almost about 9 seconds video clip and I think this image deserves that <laughs> 9 seconds clip. Uh, so this is what we have got here. Let me just swipe up here. Let's see uh, it says video information 14.50 MB, 1440 by 1800 resolution and it is in 30 FPS. So this is the uh, file format that we get once we save this live effect. Uh, let's try on another image here. Let's see what happens. Let's try on this one. Yes, we do get live effect for this image as well. Again, it is a similar effect, uh, kind of a swivel effect we have got, uh, which we saw it on the first image, on the cat's image. It's the same effect we have got here as well. Now, I'm not sure whether uh, it's some basic effects which gets applied to all the images. Uh, let's try one more image here. Maybe let me try on my portrait image. Oh, wow, this looks actually pretty cool. Uh, again, it's a similar swivel effect kind of a thing, but since there is a background depth here, it is giving it kind of a parallax effect on this image. It actually looks cool. Uh, however, it would have been really great to see some editing options for the live effect. I do not see any such editing options for this. The phone will create this and we'll just have to tap on save a copy to save this particular video clip. Now let me just check this uh, clip out. It's a four second clip. Let's see the details here. Again, it's the same resolution and 30 FPS video, seven and a half MB. Now let me try on a last image. 
Let me open this one. Okay, this is showing me 24 hour time lapse and remaster option. There is no live effect option for this particular image. On whichever image the phone detects the sky and mountains or greenery, it is going to show us 24 hour time lapse option on the image. Now let me just go back. Let's see on another image if it is going to show me the live effect. Again, here it shows 24 hour time lapse. It's greenery and water. Let me try on this image here. Uh, it is just showing me erase reflections and remaster. So the live effect is not available for all the images. So that is a bummer. We should have got live effect for all the images just in case if you want to create that effect for any image that you want, it would have been really nice. Now let's try on this image, remaster. Now let me try on this one here. We do have live effect option. Again, it has cropped the image and it has got something similar, similar effect what we got on one of the images which we checked in the past. So it has just got about two or three effects which will be applied on most of the images. Uh, it would have been nice to have an edit option for this live effect. And we can't really apply live effect on each and every image. That is something to note here. Uh, only the AI will tell us on which image we can apply it and we should be using those images for the live effects. Again, it would have been nice to see live effect options for any images that we have, maybe as an option inside the gallery itself to uh, create a live effect for any of the images. And we should also have an option to convert this into a GIF. Of course, we do have an option to create a GIF, but a live effect in GIF format will be really cool. And if Samsung considers this and gives us an option to save this copy as GIF, maybe when we tap on save as copy, it should throw a couple of options like video clip or GIF, that would be really useful. So let's see if Samsung does that in the future. This is all I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know uh, what do you think about this feature. Are you excited? Do you see yourself using this feature if it comes to your Galaxy phone? Drop a comment and let me know. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Do not forget to download these beautiful looking wallpapers. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.